Um, I'm going to tell you about a, a social experiment now that's underway in suburban Perth uh, with a couple of Perth people, uh, one of whom we're, we're about to meet. Bethan Wynne is a professional facilitator and she's trying to establish uh, if strangers can get to know each other pretty quickly uh, with a set of questions and see how if, if meaningful conversation develops and see if we can improve relationships within our community by getting to know people who we probably otherwise wouldn't know. Bethan, good afternoon to you. Hi, Mark. How are you? I'm well, thanks. So as a professional facilitator, what are you trying to facilitate here? Um, Well, like you said, we're trying to see whether with the right set of questions, people can build a relationship, not like you mentioned, a romantic relationship, but a friendship and an understanding with people they might not normally communicate with. So have you come um, up with a set of questions or how does this now work? Yeah, well, um, uh, my friend Alex Bukowski and I, we, we love questions and we love the, the impact the right question can have on a, a discussion. So we're, we're toying around with what questions we might use, but it's about going beyond your sort of cliche, exchanging, you know, observations about the weather or, you know, facts about some football game at the weekend and, and getting to know people as a human. So asking, you know, about how they first fell in love or what's on their bucket list or you know what what drives them and so we can reach a like deeper appreciation of the people who are around us okay so this could be interesting because this could also help with with the, those age old problems like you mentioned when you you bring up the weather or something it's that whole issue of small talk people never quite exactly. know where to start do they so give me some examples of how you think yeah some of the other topics we we might be able to throw in there um, well, I guess it, it can really be anything, but it's about finding out more about, you know, what makes that person who they are. Because um, I'm sure, you know, you might have neighbours or someone you see at the post office and, and you might know them, but you don't really know them. And um, and it's that meaningful connection, that those real relationships that a lot of people are craving. And we saw, you know, during lockdown last year and all over the world now, people really want that face-to-face connection to get away from behind a screen. Um, and replace social media with some real human interaction because we, we need that. We crave that as people, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So how is this playing out? Are you looking for volunteers to take part? What's the next step? Yeah, well, we're, we're doing this particular one in West Leaderville because we have a beautiful town team there called the Flower District that's just starting up. Um, so, so it's based around there. But, you know, if people are interested or want to try and run it in their own communities based on how it turns out, then uh, they're welcome to get in touch as well. It's something that, you know, we don't own any copyright over this idea. It's something that we've seen, you know, videos of overseas, people doing similar stuff. So um, it's just seeing how it plays out at a local level. In okay. a, a specific community, yeah. Okay, so well, that's interesting. So, yeah, you don't. There isn't a copyright to it. It's a, you know, you welcome it, spreading its wings. Um, mm-hmm. But what's the point within? So within the local community, though, you're just hoping that people will get to know each other a bit better and therefore improve the local community. Yeah, I guess that's kind of on a, a simple level what we're aiming for. But you know, we all know that things like anxiety, loneliness, and depression are on the up. And um, that connection, that feeling part of something, having a meaningful relationship with your local community, with the people around you, is so important for, you know, mental health, physical health, uh, longevity. There's so many benefits to it beyond the sort of, oh, you know, there's just someone I know I can say hi to. Um, it's, It's really, really valuable to our uh, all parts of our lives, having that sense of purpose. So would you be targeting, I'm thinking, for, for some older people, some seniors, that would be particularly helpful for people who are on their own. Uh, is it those sort of groups who you'd like to bring into this? Anyone is welcome. The more diverse, the better. And it's funny you say, like, oh, we think of older people as feeling quite lonely, but also a lot of young people feel lonely, depressed, disconnected. Sure. Um, so it's open to anyone. Um, and when we do really want to get a diverse mix, so we've got a few people signed up already that are everything from 18 to 95, you know, right. like it's, there's no limit on age or um, occupation or anything. It's on a Saturday between 11 and 1 next Saturday. So okay. 
hopefully that's quite an accessible time for a lot of people. Um, so, yeah, and uh, we'll shout you a free coffee if you want one from Myrtle Ivy Cafe where we're doing it. So, uh, yeah, you know, anyone is welcome. Oh, that's where it is. I was in that cafe the other day. That's a small world. Myrtle Ivy, I know that, just off Railway Road there. It's a beautiful little cafe, yeah. yeah. It is, Myrtle <laughs> Ivy. Okay, so that's where you're doing it between 11 and 1 next Saturday. That's in West Leadville. Um, yep. So, I mean, I guess, Beth, and the only thing is, I mean, you do have to be the sort of person who is prepared to open yourself up to this sort of thing because there are those <laughs> those among us who shall remain nameless who it's, you know, sometimes you don't, you feel a bit awkward just chatting to a stranger or having yeah. any of these, you know, probing questions. So you've got to be pretty open to sharing yourself, don't you? I guess so. But by putting a framework on it, you know, I'm I'm quite an open, chatty kind of person. So I, I, I love, you know, hey, you know, room full of strangers, that's great. Right. But I, I appreciate some people, that's their worst nightmare. <laughs> but by putting a certain framework on it and giving it a structure, then that helps make it easier in a way that like, you know, if you're playing a game with someone, then there's a set of rules that you both understand and then it makes it easier to connect. So by having set questions and, and you know, we'll figure out a way to go from, easier ones to stuff that's more challenging but you know you don't have to say anything you don't want to you could make anything up that you like we don't know (laughs) it's just an experiment to see how we go with it but you're right those who are perhaps find find that idea a bit scary are possibly the people that we would really like to get involved so if if you're listening and you think yeah i live close by I'd, i'd like to do it but i'm a bit nervous then you know feel free to get in touch and see chat to us first to feel more comfortable and uh yeah it's really going to be worthwhile, we think. We're, okay. we're excited to see what the outcomes will be. And will they need to prepare any of these questions or you take care of that? No, absolutely not. It's purely off the cuff, see where it goes. It's an experiment. You know, we might decide some questions worked really well, some of them didn't. We're going to be um, taking some photos and doing some recordings from a distance, but we, uh, Alex and I have sort of said we're not going to record the conversation itself because we feel that's a bit... You know, people go funny when you point a camera at them yes. sometimes. Yeah. Um, so, you know, the conversation itself will just between be between you and someone else from the local area. Um, and it's just, yeah, get out of your echo chamber. We kind of hang out with people who are similar to us a lot of the time, online and in real life. So it's, you know, meeting someone new. You might make a friend for life. You might find your long lost. I don't know, second cousin or great auntie or something. (laughs) Who knows what's going to come out of it? We're just sort of interested to see what happens. Yeah, indeed. All right. Well, look, good luck with it. And if you are in that West Leaderville area and feel like popping along next Saturday between 11 and 1, it sounds interesting. It's only going to take an hour of your time, isn't it? Oh, sorry. No, well, 11 to 1. Good one, Mark. That's two hours. (laughs) Oh, yeah. No, we think like we'll probably cap it about 45 minutes for the chat hour, you know. Um, But yeah, people can email me as well if they want to get involved or if they want to find out more. Okay. Um, so what's that? What's that address? Yeah, so it's just hello, uh, H E L L O, at bethannwin dot com. So B E T H A N W I N N dot com. Okay, Bethan, thank you so much for that, and good luck next weekend. And um, we'll touch base with you down the track and see if it all worked out, and we've got a happy, peaceful, loving community. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely, I'd love that. Thanks a well-engaged very much. community. Thanks for your time <laughs> exactly. this afternoon. Twenty-one <laughs> yeah, minutes away from four.